guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. And for those of you that are dog lovers, this video is gonna be for you. This is by request. I'm gonna make one of my homemade dog food add-ons. So we feed our dogs a grain-free kibble, and then I supplement them with other healthy, nutritious things. In the past, I used grains in their food, and those fillers are really not good for them, and it's not easy for them to digest. So. Now we do it a little more naturally and I, they absolutely love it. They're in excellent, excellent condition. None of them are overweight. They're in perfect weight and um, very lean and just in uh, awesome shape. So that being said, we just got an elk. And for those of you that follow me, I butcher my own and do my own processing. And this is scrap off the elk. This was the glaze that I had to cut off or any damaged meat. Um, and yeah, there's about three pounds here, maybe four. Um, and I've got a quart of water in here. And today we're gonna use the Power Pressure Cooker XL. I use this thing all the time, especially when I'm making um, their dog food. So I'm putting that down. Now that's filled that about halfway And full. I've got a large sweet potato that I'm gonna go ahead and put in here. And I just cube it up. It, it becomes very, very soft and delicious they love it they love sweet potatoes and I actually make them sweet potato treats if you want to see that video <laughs> let me know in the comment section and I'll I'll shoot a video of that because it's super easy and your pets like it and it's a healthy treat don't so. forget guys if you like dogs and you love your animals give me a thumbs up and go down in the about section below and check out all the links that I've left for you I left, I've left a link down here in the description box for the Power Pressure Cooker XL, and you can certainly go over there and um, and pick yourself up one. I use it probably uh, five days a week, at least five days a week. So now what I'm gonna do next, it's kind of different, but peas are absolutely excellent for dogs. And so I've got some um, dehydrated peas, split peas, and I'm gonna put a half a cup of those in there. And they're gonna rehydrate, they're gonna make this delicious for these dogs. I'm gonna add another quart of water. You don't need to season, although you could season with pet friendly herbs like rosemary, sage. Um, those herbs are totally safe for pets, but they don't need it. They honestly love this just the way it is. So we're gonna put this in the Power Pressure Cooker XL and it's up to really pretty full. I'm gonna put my lid on. Let me get this stuff out of the way. And you want your um, control valve, and I'll leave a picture of that, your control valve in the back to the lock setting so it can pressurize. Then I'm gonna push meat and chicken, which is only 15 minutes, so I'm gonna adjust that, and that's gonna go for 40 minutes. When it, the bell rings, I can let off the pressure or I can leave it just come down off of pressure on its own, which I probably will, and leave it on warm until we're ready to feed the dogs tonight. And I'll bring you along and see how they like it. All right, guys, stay tuned. <laughs> All right, guys, so our add-on is done for our dogs. And I've given everybody uh, a scoop of this over their dog food. We're letting it cool. They get a little bit of sweet potato, a little bit of the elk, a little bit of the peas. They don't need a, a lot of any of it. The one that gets the most kibble and to add on is str usually more kibble than add on um, because he tends to be a lot leaner. The girls tend to carry their weight really well and Sage actually can get heavy if you're not careful. So. Seven pounds on a dog is like 40 pounds on us. So you, you really, I encourage you to be careful. I know that we wanna spoil them, but if we spoil them with the wrong things, we make them heavy and it's hard on their heart and it shortens their life. And so I hope if you like this, you give me a thumbs up. You go over to my Facebook page, check that out, and go down below and check out the links that I've left for you. I'll have a link for this. I'll also have a link for the water bowl that I love for these dogs and um, any other information that I can give you. I've got my mailing address. I actually have a link to my Roku channel. So if you're on Roku, you can go over there and watch me over there too. And this is a healthy way to treat your dogs. And I measure their food out. Um, the girls get about a cup, a little, a, a, a heaping cup 
of food, of kibble, morning and night, grain-free kibble. Strut gets a cup and a half of that. And Ragnar is just under his little measuring cup at this point. He'll increase as he gets older, and this is puppy food, but it's all grain-free. And then during the day, they still can have treats, but they're healthy treats. I make sweet potato treats. I also make um, chicken jerky. You guys have seen that video. So they get the healthy treats that are really low in fat and that don't pound the weight on them. And so I'm going to let you go. Let's let this cool off and then we'll see how they like it because I know they love it and you guys are going to love to see their response because they're like chow hounds. I hope I can manage the camera and putting down their dishes all at once. So it'll be interesting. Right now, are you hungry? Oh, he said, I'm really ready for this chow time. I'm starving. Are you starving right now? I know. <laughs> He's being so good. He's so cute. Okay, I'm going to get your dish. Okay, let's get your dish. Oops, that's not yours. We'll get your dish. Look at him, look at me. Ooh, is that good? Oh my goodness. Let me make sure it's not too hot still. Oh yeah, it's cooled down just perfect. Okay. Oh, he said, that's delicious. I think Ragnar approves. So let's go outside and see if the others Strike. approve too. He's eating his, no problem. Mm-hmm. And then we have Shati Do, who inhales it. Say, do you like it? She's like, oh yeah, I love it. Good stuff, huh? Eat that. All right, guys, so I, I guess you guys know that they like it just fine and they're healthy. Look how healthy that dog is. He is just in perfect condition. And if you touch him, it's like a brick wall. <laughs> so is she. She is too. So they do this, uh, they eat twice a day. And um, this gal just had a litter of nine puppies this last June, the end of June. And look how fabulous she looks. So I hope it inspires you to come back next time. I hope that if you have dogs, you love them as much as I do. And leave me a comment and tell me how, <laughs> oh, he cleaned that up. And let me know what you do for your dogs that's special. All right, guys. Can't wait to see you next time. Oh, my goodness. Ragnar, are you done? He said, I'm done. It was delicious. Aw. Sorry about the lighting. It's evening. He liked it, too. Everybody cleaned up their plate. Good job. All right. Again, I can't wait to see you next time. And bring you along for another critter update and or uh, something that we do in the kitchen. Another delicious recipe. <laughs>